Hi, Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the GitHub certifications that have just been released. We're going to talk about some of the different certifications that they have, um, why this could be beneficial to you, someone who works maybe with Azure DevOps or GitHub or some form of a CI CD process that requires you to have your, um, you know, whether it be open source code or closed source code inside of a repository. And some of the different benefits that it could, you know, provide for even people that are, you know, um, looking to get into the uh, DevOps field or just, you know, grow their particular skill sets. And so with the uh, new Azure DevOps certifications, we're going to just go and look on their site and just kind of look at some of the areas in which you can kind of maybe, you know, um, specialize in and some of the different paths you can take, show some of their uh, resources in which they have the um, learning and tooling available for you to be able to pass the certifications that were just released. So we're gonna go over here to my other screen here. So uh, if you go to resources.github.com under their uh, learns for slash certifications, you can see they have the uh, showcase your exp expertise with the GitHub certifications. Now, they got a couple different ones here. So you can see they got the GitHub foundations. Obviously, that's probably going to be more your foundational topics. And, um, you know, just getting you familiar with GitHub. This might be for someone who might not have used GitHub before or some of the Git basics um, that you would typically use when you're using like your visual st uh, studio code or editor of choice. So you see they have the links here in under each of these links. Uh, they basically just take you to the uh, exam prep. So got the foundations, we got the GitHub actions. So some of the different um, um, CI CD pipeline or, or automated task type stuff that you'll probably get into. Um, the GitHub advanced security. So, you know, probably some of the uh, elevating the uh, integrity standards of what you're actually putting inside of the repositories, making sure that you're probably not having, um, you know, passwords or secrets or being able to monitor for, monitor for those particular type of things and, and just understanding the uh, code of ethics when working with the software in GitHub. And then uh, obviously GitHub administration, they probably are going to walk you through some of the different things and hi uh, highlight your expertise in the repository management, workflow optimization, and just being able to uh, manage the collaboration that would go along with um, managing your uh, GitHub uh, organization. So with those uh, four exams there, uh, a lot of people might start with, oops, go back here. Where are you? A lot of people are going to maybe start with the uh, foundations. Um, and, and with these certifications, again, a lot of certifications are out there. And it's not a meant to say like, hey, you should go get these certifications because it's going to make you, you know, make more money or whatever. Um, but it's just a, a good way to have a fundamental way to understand what path you should take to learn something more in depth. And that's how I kind of, uh, you know, try and take it upon myself when learning new certifications or just new technology. The certifications in some of their uh, um, exam prep, which we'll click on here now. So if we click on the foundations one, it's going to take us to the Microsoft Learn website, which a lot of us are probably familiar with when trying to get to uh, some of the different learning modules that they have for various Azure related things and stuff like that. So as you can see inside, you got items in this collection. So this is gonna have an intro to Git, intro to GitHub. So it's gonna have all these different modules and it gives you kind of like an estimated time frame. So most people who are familiar with Microsoft Learn may already see this. So once you click on you know, one of those, it kind of takes you to that same workflow where it's more of a module based and you just kind of get a synopsis of what you're expected to learn. Would recommend, uh, you know, obviously creating your sign in uh, live account so that you can track all your changes and stuff like that. And and then going through and basically uh, knocking that out and getting, you know, more familiar with uh, how GitHub operates. So if we go back here and then if we go to like the next one, introduction to GitHub. So it's going to have you basically walk through some different exercises and documentation and stuff like that. So we go back. So that's for the foundations and obviously the other ones are gonna be the same thing. Just module based, based off of the different path that you wanna take. 
So getting into that um, here, uh, who who would benefit from these? So there's probably a lot of people who use um, possibly other particular toolings, whether it be uh, Azure DevOps or um, Jenkins or any other tool that's that they probably use for their particular uh, organization. And um, but a lot of people use Git, you know, which you know is kind of used to you know. Um, push and pull and do all these other cool things with your code to make it more collaborative. But as far as uh, learning GitHub more in depth, a lot of uh, uh, companies use GitHub. Um, a lot of uh, companies uh, who use open source software use GitHub. And it's probably more of one of the most used uh, tools, even when talking about software, because it's just uh, widely recognizable. A lot of people use it. So I think even if you're not using it on a day-to-day -day basis in your job, I think these certifications um, will, uh, uh, I think, attract a lot of people who are out there in the um, world, whether they're recruiting or looking for people such as yourself. Um, and, and they're able to then see, hey, this person has taken the time out to, you know, kind of advance through some of these tracks and obviously learn some of the things that's required to get certified. And so with these being new, uh, it could raise, you know, as, you know, be a talk of, a topic of conversation in your, uh, um, I guess you could say, uh, interview process in which, you know, people might wonder, hey, what was the process of actually getting that certification? Um, what some things that you could, you know, it could probably put you in front of ahead of other people uh, that don't have not necessarily the certifications, but not the in-depth knowledge of how GitHub actually works. And so, you know, actually, you know, um, if we go through here, it's going to have you register. So you're going to log in with your GitHub there. So actually what I'm going to do is pull this over here real quick. And I'm going to log in. It's going to have you authorize your certifications. So when we do log in, this is what's going to show you here. So you got GitHub Actions, GitHub Administration. Now, the one thing I didn't see uh, is pricing on anything. So I'm not sure if this is basically, okay, $200. Okay, so $200, kind of pricey. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the length of time that these uh, certifications are kept for, um, unless there's some... There might be something, maybe in a few frequently asked questions here. So what is the expected response time? Exam, $200. So you get 120 minutes. Is it possible to have an extension? Uh, if you fail the exam, you can retake it. There's a 24 hour hold before you're able to retake. And a 14, hold, a 14 day hold will be applied for each consecutive retake after the first retake. So. And it says you may only retake the exam for a total of five attempts. So, ooh, that's um, so that kind of might put a damper on you know you know at least making sure that people don't, aren't just trying to cram, 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 keep taking it, and then they take it again, keep taking it without going back and actually studying. So that five attempts thing might make sure that a lot of people actually uh, study up on what they might have missed and things like that. So since there are multiple versions of the certificate exam, the passing scores can have minor variances. Okay. Um, not much on the formatting. So right, multiple choice, 60 scored items and around 10 or 15 pretest items. Um, they are proctored. I'm trying to see if they're, okay, there we go. So what's the process of renewing? So they are good for three years. Um, the exam refresh cycle depends on the evolution of each individual product. But you can expect a new exam to be available approximately every three years. So, so that means, uh, you know, as the product's involved, um, after that three-year period, um, it's kind of aligns with like how Cisco's are with like their CCNA. You get the three years, I believe. Yeah, and then you know retake, and they probably add more questions or new stuff like that. So certificates and badging. Uh, this is good for a lot of people who want to add these to like their LinkedIn profiles or their emails or resume and stuff like that. So getting that digital badge is actually pretty neat. A lot of people like to kind of tout that around and, you know, have it verified. So 
just a nice way to show uh, that you, you know, went through and yeah, so they partner with Credly to translate the learning outcomes. Um, you demonstrate into the badge. So Credly is actually what a lot of people use to um, validate the badge was actually earned because obviously someone could just go Google the Azure DevOps badge and put it on their LinkedIn and you could go check and make sure it's actually valid. So a certificate will be available via Credly. Um, so yeah, just some of the information here. So that's the the biggest part. So you got your GitHub certifications. There's four exams. Once you sign in, you can kind of schedule, um, uh, probably through like Pearson, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, it looks like you can schedule directly on their, their, um, page there. So yeah, that gets you that there. And then as far as the, uh, cost $200, uh, you know, and that, and that's another thing too. So if you do fail, um, I'm guessing you pay the 200 again and, so five times, if you fail five times, you basically give them a free thousand dollars. And and some people might wonder, you know, is the two hundred dollars really worth it? Um, you know, I guess it kind of depends. Like, if if it was me, what I would do is I would actually go to the certifications page, and, and this is how I would handle this. So I would sign out. Let me sign out here and go back. Go back to the certifications. So I click register here. Um, so each of these ones, what I would typically do is uh, let me get back to the actual page. Okay, there we go. So what I would do is, depending on which one you want to go after, click on the link and take each of these tasks and build it like a project. So how it says automate development tasks by using GitHub Actions. Okay. So it's probably going to maybe give you some, how does GitHub actually automate development tasks? Maybe make a blog out of it or take what they actually give you and build your own um, uh, repository and whatnot out of this and build it to the best practices of this actual um, uh, mod module that they, you know, kind of provide. So then that way you can actually have like the correct, you know, markdown files, the correct security best practices. And then that, and then once you do say apply to jobs or you're um, able to kind of talk through some of the things that you, you know, would do um, on an interview, you can kind of show them one of your projects or repositories, you know, maybe through a screen share of some sort, um, and, and then be able to kind of reiterate some of the things that you've learned versus actually just kind of going through the module flow here and just reading things and then not being able to actually, you know, perform the duties. And then sometimes, uh, you know, for me, I don't really, you know, I wouldn't really maybe pay for the certification. I would just gain the domain knowledge and then continually keep, you know, reiterating it and reiterating. And then, you know, maybe I would do maybe like one of the higher up ones with like the security or the the um, the GitHub admin ones that kind of focuses maybe more in depth. Um, but the, maybe the first ones with the foundational, I think what was the other one foundational and then github actions those those the github actions would be pretty cool since you're doing some more some uh testing and automation and stuff like that but i could see where the advanced security would come in and then the github administration would be very critical in bigger organizations that are using github um more frequently so with that being said you know the github certifications are brand new so a lot of people probably may not hear about them um or know you know if they are something that they should pursue um if it makes sense you know as far as the price i'm not sure if that price is just um us dollars only or if they translated that into any other particular um uh uh country's currency or whatnot so i think you know, as far as, uh, you know, it being brand new, I think actually going through and just actually just preparing yourself, you know, and, you know, doing some good studying and note taking, you know, it could be beneficial. And then maybe a year from now, uh, if uh, you start to see it on resumes, you might actually start to see it on not resumes, but um, uh, job descriptions, then that might be something to actually take the plunge and then actually, you know, go ahead and forth with uh, taking the exam and, you know, at least getting certified. Because if you, you know, start to see some of that stuff on uh, job descriptions or 
people wanting to require it, then it's probably one of those things where it's not necessarily like a deal breaker, but it's one of those things that could kind of elevate you above someone else. And, you know, maybe having one of the, you know, one of the certifications out of the four can at least get you a, you know, in front of someone to talk to. So again, that's it. Uh, you know, just want to kind of go over that and, um, and hopefully if, you know, anyone has any other, you know, tidbits or knowledge around what the uh, GitHub certification process, you know, is in bringing or entailing, drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure, um, definitely great to hear about that. And if you uh, have any uh, insights on maybe, uh, maybe any deals or discounts that might, you know, be going on out there, shoot a comment down below for others to see. Again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next time.